Fuck. Too much credit. Let's hope my subconscious knows what it's doing. Yep. Mike wasn't on that entire time. I say that all the time, but I don't actually really show you the footage usually. What's up crew? And depending on when you're watching this, good morning, good afternoon, or good night. Yesterday's video was a long and like pretty much encompassed all of the things in my life, fitness, cooking, and family. Um, I'm obviously creative because I got to edit that video and I really enjoyed editing that video. So if you haven't gotten a chance to watch it, check that out. It's vlog number 49. Or no, vlog number 50. Uh, this is 51, which is pretty crazy. Today's vice that we're giving up is the third in the trifecta of self-destruction. Like I've mentioned in previous vice give-ups, which is the weirdest way to say that, uh, there's a few things that I get when I go to the store, a gas station, or 7-Eleven. It's the sort of trigger for all of these bad things that I have. Um, I get my energy drink, I get a donut, and then a lot of the time I get this bad boy. I am a sucker for Reese's. Uh, especially the big cup, which is higher in calories. And recently, the crunchy peanut butter, because I just came out with it and it is phenomenal. Um, and if it's not this with the donut and energy drink, I'll get my second energy drink for the day and grab this as well. Um, bad decisions. What's great about moving forward is I'm a work from home now, or I stay at home dad, and I don't have the same opportunity to go out and get these things. Um, recently I started a routine where I, after Sarah leaves for work, I put Dylan in the stroller and I go for a walk to Zanato's. Zanato's has the organic rock stars and they have donuts. So that kept me on that track, unfortunately. So I'm either going to have to switch that up to where I still go for a walk in the morning with Dylan because I love taking her for a walk. She loves to look at all the sights. She sees the cars going by and she thinks it's crazy. Um, so I might just do a walk around the block, pass up Zanata's so I can at least keep that part of the routine in place. Um, maybe even take my coffee with me. That's actually a really good idea. I might do that, especially now that it's cold. It's going to be nice to walk with a warm cup of coffee. I'm doing that for show. Part of moving forward and eliminating these vices, I say that it's just for the ketogenic diet, but it's really hopefully for good. Um, of course, I'll have a cheat day and enjoy a Reese's or I'll go grab an energy drink. If anything, it's like alcohol to me. You know, I would call it an addiction. It's like, let's put it this way. Last year, Sarah and I went to Italy. Um, and I thought to myself before we left, okay, this is gonna be a great opportunity for me to reset. I doubt there's easy chances to just like go out and grab an energy drink. I'm gonna to try to make up my mind and not drink them. What do you know? We pass a vending machine like on the first airport and there's a monster. So grab that. Every single day it was sort of a matter of in between seeing sights, looking for an energy drink, which didn't ruin the trip. It's not like, hey, you got that, uh, you got that energy drink. It's more like, it's just like a distraction, a little tiny distraction that is unnecessary. So with that said, while I don't mind going back and having one every once in a while, like an out, like a beer, um, I'm hoping that this, this month and a half ketogenic diet also helps me reset and improve my health. Cause, uh, Having these things too often is bad for me. Having them every once in a while is okay, but never having them again is probably the best option. But that sounds ridiculous, and I'm not gonna set myself up for that big of a failure. At some point, I'll have a donut, I'll have a Reese's, and I'll have an energy drink just to enjoy it, and then we keep going forward and upward and onward. Said, I'm gonna go ahead and, with that said, I'm gonna go ahead and enjoy this thing, and uh, we'll get on with the day, I think. Next will probably be the gym, honestly. Not much going on today other than that. Uh, gonna hit the fitness. It's a pretty simple one. Uh, some lunging, some push press, some, I think, either double d dumbbell snatches or something. But, yeah, let's hit it.
spicy. I thought it was three. What are you trying to tell me, huh? What'd All you right. say? What? Take it back home. That wad was pretty spicy. I think all wads are pretty spicy if you, if you really think about it. If you're pushing hard, it should be spicy. I think it did pretty good considering uh, the 50 pound dumbbell was definitely a struggle on the uh, snatches. Um, and especially on the freaking lunges because when you do a front rack lunge and you've got weight on top, of your shoulders, you have more pressure on your core to stay tight. When you have it on your back, it at least is pushing down on your spine versus pushing down on your front end um, or like a hard surface. So it's like having a wall and on this side you have a metal support beam and on this side it's just drywall and you mount on the drywall instead of the metal beam. Uh, it's gonna be strong enough, but it's gonna have more tension. So harder to breathe because your core is lit up the whole time but good one and then deadlifts felt really good it has been a very long time since I've lifted anything over 400 for reps and I was warming up with the idea of doing five by three and someone said you're doing five reps I'm like ah well all right then let's move forward and I started with 425 ended with 445 so I like that I am exhausted. I think it's about time for a short and sweet one. Uh, tomorrow's editing will be nice and easy if I, if I just, right here, hopefully. I always say that and then I look at all the footage and I'm like, God, so much editing. It's been a while since I've uh, done an insulate, so thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, if you're new, hit that subscribe button. If you're not new, hit the like button. And uh, if you'd like to file a complaint, or send some positive vibes, leave a comment. And uh, if you know anybody who might like this channel or you would like to see me do 150 wall balls unbroken, try to do this before the end of the year. I'm gonna do Karen Unbroken and it, it only takes eight more followers. So if you know somebody who might be interested in this channel, send them the link. And uh, till tomorrow, I'll see you later crew.